Hello friends, I come to you with this video titled 10 differences that you should know between Covishield and Sputnik V vaccine. I am Dr. Sitesh Roy, your super specialist in immunology, allergy and asthma. And I have been asked this question many, many times by many of my patients and their families. Dr. Roy, which vaccine should we be taking? Covishield or Sputnik V? Which is better? Is there a difference? So tune in and listen carefully as I go through each of the differences between these vaccines and what it could mean to your decision in choosing one over the other. So, the first, the first vaccine, Covishield, also known as Vaxvaria, in the other parts of the world, is a vaccine that has been manufactured by the pharmaceutical British-Swedish giant AstraZeneca along with University of Oxford. What we know is that this combination vaccine had its first data published in late 2020 and its interim trial results published in December 2020, which is the phase 3 trial. Similarly, the Sputnik V vaccine, which is manufactured by the Gamleya University under the aegis of the Russian Direct Investment Fund or RDIF, is also a vaccine that has been produced and manufactured locally and has only recently been distributed in terms of manufacturing to some other parts of the world. What we have to recognize is what was known as a viral vector vaccine, a non-replicating viral vector vaccine, which is what both of these vaccines are, have some very key differences between them. The first of these differences, when we look at the Chadox-1 COVID-19 or novel coronavirus-19 vaccine of AstraZeneca Oxford, is that this vaccine carries its viral vector as a chimpanzee adenovirus. So this would be a virus that the human body has never seen in its lifetime and hence has the ability to induce a very potent and strong immune reaction. Similarly, when we look at the Sputnik V vaccine, this has two human adenoviruses in it. One, the human adenovirus 26 and the other is human adenovirus 5. This is a key difference between the vaccines where Covishield has two similar doses. You can call them identical. The Sputnik V vaccine has two different doses which potentially gives you a wider range of immune response and the potential for better protection. However, you will see down the road that Sputnik Light, where only a single dose of the human adenovirus 26 vector vaccine is given, also coming into the play in the near future. It is already in use in several parts of the world and especially within Russia. The next difference between these two vaccines um, stands at the duration between which the two doses are given. Currently in India, we know that the Covishield vaccine is given 84 days apart. In the beginning, it was six to eight weeks, then went up to 12 weeks, and then later on got further extended for different reasons. When we look at the GAM COVID vac, the Sputnik V vaccine, it has a duration officially of three to four weeks for the second dose. But even with that vaccine, it has been shown that good efficacy can be achieved if the vaccine is given up to three months apart. So there is flexibility in that vaccine too for the number of the duration between the doses. When we look at the efficacy of these vaccines, the average efficacy of the Covishield vaccine has been reported to be about 70.4%, which means the chance of acquiring a COVID infection is reduced that much in a person who has received both doses of the vaccine. 
Now, if you look at different age groups, you may see higher efficacy in certain age groups and lower in others, but we are talking about the average efficacy. When we look at the efficacy of the Sputnik V vaccine, both doses given, it's about 91%, which means that's the degree of protection you can expect in the general population. The numbers may be even higher as we know. Recognizing these differences, there has been a lot of concern lately about the different variants that are there in the world and how well do these vaccines work against the variants. So it has been found that both the Gamma variant, which originated in Brazil, and the Delta variant, which originated in India, have certain key changes to the spike protein structure because of which the efficacy of these vaccines will reduce some. But both of these vaccines have been shown to prevent hospitalization and severe infection, even in people who get these variants after vaccination. We do need to realize that even vaccinated people can still shed virus when they get the infection and they can still spread it to others, though they may end up only with a mild to moderate disease. The next major difference between any two vaccines that we compare would have to do with the side effects of the vaccination. As mentioned earlier, Covishield being a chimpanzee adenovirus tends to induce a quite vigorous immune response because it's new to the human immune system. And so what has been found is that the intensity of side effects may be a little higher when it comes to Covishield versus Sputnik V. Because remember, that has the human adenovirus, which our human genes and immune system has seen since we were babies, suggesting that the initial side effects might be the fever, the pain, the discomfort, the nausea, the diarrhea, the headache, whatever might occur with this vaccination, may be a little bit more intense for Covishield than it is for Sputnik V. You can also expect that because it's the same virus that you get in the second dose in Covishield, that you may have a little exaggeration of the side effects in some people, though not all. So there is some difference right there. The big difference which had led to 18 countries temporarily stopping the use of Covishield or Vaxvaria was the incidence of blood clots. Now we know that there have been several cases in different parts of the world of blood clots occurring in what is called the cerebral venous sinus of the brain. And this was primarily being seen in young women due to reasons that are not very clear, but there were elderly people also who got this side effect. And that led to a lot of concern. And while this risk and side effect is known, the benefits of the vaccine clearly outweigh the risks at this point of time and hence the vaccination continues and we know that there are about 170 countries around the world that are currently using Covishield in some form or fashion or have used it in the past and there are about 75 to 90 countries in the world that have used the Sputnik V vaccine. And that brings us to the point that we haven't really heard or seen reports of cases of blood clots with the Sputnik V vaccine. This can be due to two reasons. One, it actually is safer and does not cause it. Second, the post-vaccine surveillance in the places where this vaccine is being given is not as pinpoint or as intense as we would want it to be for us to know what happens over a span of a month or six weeks after the vaccination. So recognizing that we do understand that there is a difference in published data, which we have a lot more published data for the AstraZeneca Oxford vaccine than we do for the Sputnik vaccine. And we've known that all along. That brings us to the final important difference between these vaccines and that is the WHO approval. When we look at the WHO approval, Covishield and Vaxferia are very clearly approved by WHO 
whereas the Sputnik V vaccine still has some issues and there is some data being requested both for the manufacturing processes from different parts of Russia where the vaccine is being made and also in terms of post-marketing surveillance data that is required. So with that understanding, if your purpose and goal of taking the COVID vaccine is so that you can travel, you would clearly want to lean towards the COVID shield than towards Sputnik V, though we can expect and hope that that will also get approved in the near future. The other point in this is there have been some countries, especially in the European Union, that have said that if you have Indian manufactured Covishield, you may still not be allowed into their country without certain restrictions or without certain quarantining or other processes that may be required. So, and the reason behind that they say is that certain uh, manufacturing policies and procedures that need to be studied uh, have not yet been done uh, by certain organizations though the WHO clearly has monitored and studied this and said that the vaccine that is manufactured in India of Covishield is safe, effective and is being supplied all over the world with millions of doses being given. So dear friends, these are the differences that you need to know between Covishield and Sputnik V both being, as I said, non-replicating viral vector vaccines. As a matter of uh, uh, what I would call a controversial topic, you know, because we realize that any virus that enters the human body ultimately utilizes the human cell to insert its genome into the cell and convert it into a factory that makes the vaccine, makes the virus particles and ultimately uh, propagates the viral infection. With that thought in mind, there are some people who have concerns that introducing a new viral vector into the human genome, which is the chimpanzee adenovirus, could have certain long-term effects that we don't know. This is purely a theory at this point of time. What we do know is that 10% of the human genome is made up of various different viruses that the human body exposes itself and experiences right from birth till the time we die. They eventually become a part of our human genome. So these are things that we will have to wait and watch and see how they develop and evolve for us to know what happens in the long run. At this point of time, I can tell you both the vaccines are safe, both are effective, whatever is available to you and you can get Please do take it, protect yourself if you're in the age groups of 18 and up that are officially authorized to get vaccinated right now. And do take care of yourself, do wear your masks even after you get vaccinated. This is very, very important. And do your hand washing, maintain your physical distancing, exercise, eat well, get fresh air, sunlight when possible and do get good rest and good sleep because these are ultimately your main immune boosters. So with that friend, till next time, take care, stay safe. Signing off, Dr. Roy here. God bless us all.